Hey everybody. Today I'm going to show you a water and alcohol technique. I actually use water with alcohol to give the effect of watercolor, very soft, but it has the vibrancy of alcohol ink. So what I'm going to do is put I put some fresh uh, dandelion in my palette and what I'm going to do is put a little alcohol in there and put a little water and mix it in. Now I want to uh, just put it on and I'm going to use a little more water and let it flow. And here's a beautiful poppy. And I'll give it some, so you have to keep activating the uh, water with a, some, with a little alcohol in it. Otherwise it will just be just water and it won't do anything. But you see how I can just put that in there and it works really nice. See how soft it is? And it doesn't break like ordinary alcohol. So if I was doing just alcohol, just to show you the difference, see how harsh that is in comparison to the softer version. So I'm just gonna add alcohol and a little more water to my palette. This is my, my reference photo. I always like a little reference. I can do whatever I want, but look at how the, I want this to glow. So I'm gonna take some alcohol only and just blop it in where I want it the brightest and lightest. So I'm gonna blot. See how I can bring back the light? So this is just alcohol and water technique. I'm not gonna do a lot of back and forth in this one. I just wanna show you how you do it. I'm gonna go into a little green, bring that up here, take a little alcohol, take a little water, and then put in a stem, a little stem, maybe a bud, whatever. You do whatever you want. I'm just showing you the technique. <laughs> Okay, see how it runs a little bit? That's all right. Come back, get some more ink. Eh, whatever, let it dance. See how nice and soft that is though? If I wanna carve out a petal, I can just put a little green in here and carve the little petal out. So that's how you do that. And you can soften it. And now just using water, you can just soften. See that, how it blends? And you so if I'm doing that with alcohol, if I do that, do you see I get those crusty edges? You don't get it with this. So basically that's the water and alcohol technique you might have heard of me doing before. It came to me in a dream, but see how soft it is? And you can soften it out. You can come back and do little without breakage, you know? So how pretty is that? Carve out my background a little bit more. And I got a beautiful glowing poppy plant. And I can soften, soften, soften because the uh, water breaks down the ink and I'm able to blend and do glazing techniques like that. See how pretty that is? Let's get this a little darker over here just so you can see real quick. I need to first break with alcohol my ink, then come in with water. Tap off the excess, otherwise it's gonna run. And I can shape out my little my little plant, my little flower. And look how soft and lovely that is. I mean, really, that's so pretty. I love this technique. I think it works really great. And it's kind of forgiving because it's easy. You just go into water and you can soften. See that? And it stays soft. You can go along transition lines and soften. Wipe out your brush if you get too much water and just soften it. Look at the glow. It's really strong. See how heavy that is? If I go for the glow over here with alcohol and blot, see, see the difference in strength. It's more crusty, it's more edgy. Even with a dry brush technique, it's not as soft, but it's still very lovely. It's just a different technique. We like lots of techniques because it gives us an opportunity to do different things, but this is with just alcohol. Okay. So I'm getting out of that and getting into my water. And now I can darken in here. And I have a little, maybe a bud coming up there that's spent. 
get a little of this going on. So anyway, I think you get the idea. I just wanted to show you how to do that. And um, I hope you give it a try. I'm just putting a little stamens. You can wash out your brush, go with a thinner brush, go into some alcohol, loosen up that ink. I'm using dandelion. Um, this is a uh, honeycomb at this point in time. Then I'm gonna use water and turn that into water hall. And then I'm gonna tap off on my paper towel and put in some of these beautiful little things. So you see how beautiful and soft that is. And I can even soften this edge a little bit. Lighten that up. So that's how you do the water and alcohol technique. And I hope you give it a try. If you have a hard time, let me know, I'll help you out. So I'm just, you can't leave things long, right? So I'm using water again and alcohol. I'm just darkening. When I darken, this lightens up. See this edge? Look at how easy it is to fix the edge, to clean it with water and alcohol. And if you wanted to outline little leaves, you can do that with just a stamp brush and you get a nice glazing effect. So I hope this helps you out for another technique and happy painting.